so I guess today's vlog is about some observations regarding fashion. Um, a lot of people don't take me serious when I say I'm big into fashion. It may or not have something to do with the fact that I'm queer and don't necessarily describe to their ideal. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of a big fashion monger, and I will admit that I went through a, a three-year-long fashion faux pas, but I was still keeping up with, with what was going on, and I'm kind of here to talk about some things. Um, I've broken it up into jeans, shirts, people to look out for, my favorite queer models, and celebrities whose closets I'd love to read. Um, jeans. Wow. A lot of us don't necessarily enjoy a slim, low-rise fit, um, especially those of us who are on the less feminine of the spectrum. And I'm suffering with you, but um, we've actually got science on our side, so we don't have to worry. Ever since I was about 13, I've uh, worn men's pants. It's not a statement, it's not a giant F you to the man, it's, uh, it's simply the fact that they hang better on me. People have often um, asked why I prefer them, and whenever they do, I tell them it's simply in my genes. That's G-E-N-E-S, folks. Um, in 98 or 99, I'm not sure. If you're seriously interested, just Google it. Um, Devondra Singh and several of her colleagues did a study on gender nonconformity in lesbians within the butch and femme dimension. They found a sh shibbity ton of interesting things. The one that stuck out to me most was that um, butch lesbians tend to have a higher waist to hip ratio and elevated testosterone levels in their spit. So that basically means we are actually in possession of traits that are much more typical in males, which might explain why men's jeans fit us better. Um, of course not everyone fits this description, but once I learned that, it made shopping a lot easier for me. And also, with the trend of skinny jeans, it's pretty easy for me at least to buy men's jeans and still have them fit a little girly, so thank you fellow hipsters, you're making my life easier. Um, shirts. I'm a big t-shirt girl, I own over 100. Yes, 100, but um, you can't wear a t-shirt everywhere, even even though I do have a tuxedo t-shirt that my friend made for me, it's it's amazing, but, but I can't wear it everywhere, so when I do go out, if I'm not doping it up in a dress, um, I'm usually in a button-up, and I found the most success in tons of stores that suit any budget, actually. The Gap has really great fits, Banana Republic is, a, is pretty pricey, but it's always a steal, Target doesn't do too bad, and anywhere you can find Hurley brand... That's uh, the guys from Blink-182's, that's their brand. Like, anytime you can find a, a Hurley, any store that sells Hurley is always a good fit, and they're usually not too bad. I mean, I don't know everyone's bra size personally, but I'm pretty top-heavy, and I do okay in all those. People to look out for. Alice DeLaw. Be still, my heart. Alice is that hot girl you secretly hope could be gay, even though she's a super hot boyfriend. Um... She's a model. She's posed to make her mark in 2009. She's actually only 20, but in my opinion, she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. She's got a nose ring, a sideways mullet. She's got lines shaved into her head. Um, she dresses like a dirty Sex Pistols fan, and she has more money than she knows to like. She has more money than she knows what to do with, but she seems to disregard it. She's also just replaced um, Kate Moss as Ajahn Provocateur's new girl which I think is hilarious because she looks like a, a dirty punk from London. Uh, queer models we should all Google. Um, Sonia Walker, that's Sonia with a J instead of a Y. Um, Amanda Moore, Freya Erickson, Rachel Williams, and Frankie Ryder, or Frankie Radar. Um, I'll post all their names on, on, on the information. So yeah, people whose closets I wish I could raid, love them or hate them, the Jonas Brothers can dress, and I would give my little finger to just, just have a few moments in our closet. Um, David Beckham, I think he's amazing, I've been a fan of his for over 10 years, long before he was sexy and had highlights and had fixed his teeth, he's always been a great dresser and I've always loved him for that, so I hope this was helpful, um, yeah, you stay classy.